This is not a full cycle budget like we've always done because we are in an election year. And so in accordance with Article 180 and outstanding orders, we needed to give some approval for the first three months. This is supposed to cover January, February, and March. And right when the finance minister came, we thought that that was an opportunity for the finance minister to present to us up-to-date information. That is what the finance minister is supposed to do. And not to tell us what happened in the year 2019. When he was presenting the 2020 budget, he had the opportunity to report 2019 figures. In addition to that, he had an opportunity to do the media review budget. The essence of the media review budget is to tell us information of full year 2019. He spent the day telling us issues about 2019. You and I are interested in current issues because that is what will inform us. In 2016, when Honorable Setekwe came here, he requested for about 10 billion. Today, Mr. Kenoforiata is requesting for 27 billion. Out of that 27 billion, over 10 billion of that amount would be used to service debt. That is debt servicing. It tells you that this country is broke. When you read the latest October report from the IMF, and I feel that is more credible because this minister hasn't been credible enough. Our debt to GDP is projected at 76% of GDP. When he took over as minister, the debt to GDP was about 56%. And that is the critical element, not just the nominal debt. The nominal debt actually is moved up by over 150 billion. But when you increase your debt, you have to increase the base of your GDP so that it can support that debt. It has moved from 57 and is now hitting almost 80%. When a middle-income country crosses the 70% mark, it means that you are hugely debt distressed. And so we don't need the IMF to come and tell us that Ghana is hippic. By the minister's own track record, Ghana falls within the category of a hippie country. 